hello everyone so welcome to the channel today we're just gonna get straight to it like we always do now we got these roush axle backs which i got used from a guy they're normally like 650 i got them for 450 um there's a couple of scratches and whatnot but you know they're mufflers you know, nothing crazy they still work of course so we're gonna be putting these on the car if you didn't see my last video you can check that out right here that showed basically why we bought these because we had a massive hole in our old mufflers from the I guess the extreme pressure after I cut my cats off the car, the uh, extra gases and pressure blew out that really cheap Flowmaster muffler that came on the car when we first bought it. But yeah, if you want to stick around, we're going to do a little driveway install here with these. Let's get to it. So you want to save some money by installing these yourself and all you got is some jack stands and a jack. Well, this video is totally for you and I really hope you enjoy. Just please go down and drop a like and subscribe on this video. It's completely free. It helps me out a ton. And we're getting close to 500 subscribers. But let's get started as we said. Of course, first thing you gotta do, grab those jack stands, grab the jack. Let's get this car in the air. So right now we're basically assessing the situation. We got three hangers, which is just metal little bars that attach to rubber grommets that hold the muffler in place. And then we also noticed that the tips are welded onto the mufflers, which isn't really a big deal, but we're just checking everything out. So right here, we just sizing up them nuts, you know, like we do. And that is gonna be on the clamp that connects these factory H pipe to the mufflers. So we discovered that you're gonna need a 13 millimeter socket for that. So go ahead and break that out, get that loosened up and let's get on to the next step. Right here, we basically discovered that the hanger closer to the bumper had a really hard bend in it i don't know if that was from the past installer or whatever or maybe you're supposed to do that but removing it with that bend was going to be really hard so we decided we're just going to cut all the hangers because we're not going to be reusing these anyway since these mufflers are basically shot so we went ahead and broke the saws all out When I went and got the Roush axle backs, I noticed that these mufflers actually had the option to where you could take off the tips. They weren't welded on, just clamped on. So we went ahead and took those off because it gave us a lot more room for the install. This likely will be the most difficult part of the install. So basically you have to line up the end of the muffler, that pipe with the pipe already connected to the car. But while you're doing that, you have to line there the two hangers up above the muffler to line up with those two rubber grommets. And once you get that seated, then I would worry about the third hanger closest to the bumper to smash that in basically. Now right here, I'm basically just playing with my hammer, but no, I'm just trying to get it to seat properly. So the clamp has a nice seal. There you go. Now, once you get that all tightened up, we're going to go ahead yeah. and reattach them tips. I'm not going to talk as much through this one. Y'all can just kind of sit back, watch, and enjoy the video. It's so basically the same process on the right side. I went ahead and grabbed some safety glasses for me and my dad. Again, I didn't mention this in the beginning, but thank you so much to him for helping me out during this. But yeah. I don't know what was up with this right side though. I broke like three blades trying to get it off. I ended up letting my dad handle it and he got the job done. So thanks again. Oh. 
Just a quick tip, if anything is too tight, you gotta use some lube. WD-40 is your friend. First start with the new Roush axle backs. Here we go over the windows. I didn't say much during this, but I was actually super happy of how it turned out. I will definitely be posting more of a review on them, you know, after driving with them for a while. But the whole job took maybe an hour and a half. Um, definitely could do it faster now that we know more what we're doing and getting into. But yeah, if you liked everything, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe. Let's get to 500. I love you all. Make the right choices every single day. And do not forget, if you have any questions or concerns, whatever, throw it in the comments. I will respond, but I will see y'all next time.